One morning, Mr. Squeaky, my rubber ducky, lost his squeak. I exclaimed, staring at my beloved bath companion. A bath time without Squeaky's chirps was unimaginable. Thus began my epic quest to find that lost squeak. First, I looked in the most obvious place, the bathroom. Had it been stolen by the soap bandit, that slippery fellow always causing bubbles? Or perhaps, it got washed down the drain by the waterfall monster? But alas, no squeak was found. Venturing forth, I checked the kitchen. Maybe, I pondered, he shared it with Mr. Kettle, who now whistles a bit too cheerfully. Or had it been baked into today's loaf of bread by Ms. Toaster, always eager to add some extra crunch. But my kitchen investigation came up empty-handed. In the living room, a new theory arose. Could the television, envious of Mr. Squeaky's musical talent, have broadcasted the squeak into a new show? Or perhaps the couch, with its soft cushions, muffled it into a gentle hum. Despite my theories, the living room remained silent. Desperate, I even went to the garden. Did the flowers, eager for a new tune, orchestrate a squeaky symphony? Or maybe the mischievous wind, always playing tricks, carried the squeak up to the clouds? Yet, the garden's secrets stayed hidden. Nearly defeated, I returned to my bathroom for one last bath with Mr. Squeaky. As the tub filled, I noticed a tiny note by the drain. Looking for something, it read, and attached was a tiny, deflated balloon. With a hunch, I fitted it into Mr. Squeaky, gave him a squeeze, and squeak. He was back. It turned out, our cat had fancied the balloon for play, leaving Mr. Squeaky voiceless for a day. So, the next time something goes astray, remember to check the most unexpected places, okay?